All right, welcome to the next video in the series of the AdWords tutorial for setting up your first campaign. If you haven't already, make sure you click the link below to download your free AdWords Quick Start Campaign Kit that will have some checklists and templates for you to use to make sure that you don't make any costly mistakes in AdWords. Now, when you're ready to set up campaign, your campaign, you have already answered the three questions we talked about in the previous video, and this is also in the kit, which is, what is the conversion goal I want my visitors to take? Who is my target customer? And what are some of their pains and desires related to your product or action? Now, before we actually get into tweaking these settings and accounts, what we want to do is step one is look at the landing page that we're going to send the traffic to. And so this is a friend's account um, that I optimized for them in, in a, for free in exchange for being able to do tutorials like this for you. So you can literally just follow along and watch as we go through this. And what they want to do is, this is a dance studio, and what we're looking to do with this particular campaign, the conversion goal is increase leads or contacts for signups for this free class. So there's a dance class, and if somebody clicks this, they are taken to a free dance class form where they fill this information out and then the front desk or whoever will contact them and, and hopefully they'll end up becoming a customer. So the landing page, this is where we start and this is where you need to start. What is your landing page? Where are you gonna send the traffic? That's where we start first. And once we have that, we work backwards. And this is why it's different than everybody else and this is why it works better and, and you're gonna get better results. So. Once we have the landing page, there are a couple things we need to make sure that is on there. And again, you can get this from the kit if you download it by clicking the link below. I will help you through that. But first, we need a clear benefit headline. Okay, so right here it says, tired of being left out, country dancing made easy at State of the Arts Dance Studio. So right away, that tells somebody, remember, right message to the right person at the right time. We're going after people looking for country dance lessons. This is going to speak right to them saying, hey, you know, we can help improve your country dancing. So you need to make sure that your page has a big headline that draw that the eye naturally is drawn to and not all text the same size. OK, here's an example of, of like a bad landing page that I wouldn't use um, because this isn't really a compelling headline and it's missing some of the other elements, which is the second thing you need is a, a call to action. A big call to action see this big button it really stands out and it says it doesn't just say submit it says try a free class so if you have a button make sure it's big and then make sure the action says whatever it is they're gonna do sign up for your free spot get this get that don't just make it submit that's boring and is not necessarily compelling and then we have some more copy here explaining about country dancing now you don't always need lots of copy on your page it's gonna vary widely depending on what it is you're selling or you're offering but uh, what does also help is, is number three, which is testimonials in or proof. And so you can see on this sidebar, we've got some video testimonials. We also have awards. So we're starting to build some credibility with these visitors because this is the first time that they've heard of uh, State of the Arts, or in, in your case, it'll be maybe the first time they've been to your website. So we want to make sure that we come off as credible and an authority. So. Step one for you before we get into the campaign is pick the landing page that you're going to send the traffic to. So if you're you know, an e-commerce site, you want to start, it's good to start with your best selling products. So start either with the product itself or the category page. And if you're a service based business or local business, you know, pick your service page. You can, you know, we're doing just one, one campaign here. So you can repeat this process for all the rest of your all the rest of your pages but just follow along go with one pick one at a time so that we don't complicate it unnecessarily all right so go ahead and get that done and i'll see you in the next video